I did it again. I got another ant colony. You've probably heard of crazy cat ladies before. Well, I think I am becoming a crazy ant guy. But this time, it's not my fault. The set was provided to me by Antcube, free of charge. There is a link in the description if you want to buy this set. That transition. Whoa. Um, in my defense, this is heavier than it looks. Somewhere in here should be live ants. At least I hope they are alive. Otherwise, this will be a very boring video. This set contains two nests and an arena. And of course, some ants. There they are. I'll unpack them in a minute. This is some other stuff, but I better hurry up because I got something very important to do. Yes, this has to be done every time. So these are the ants and the two nest areas they will hopefully use as a home. The left one will be used as a nesting area and the right one here will be used to store seeds because this is a seed collecting species. And here they are. They are becoming very active because they are exposed to light. And that big one there, that kinda looks dead, is the queen. But don't worry, she's fine. I'm covering them back up for now, until their terrain is set up. The set also contains cricket sham, and it looks, smells and tastes disgusting. Yes, taste. Because in a previous video I said I would taste it if that video got 50,000 likes. So I did. But I will not make that same mistake again. I will taste these blanched crickets if this video gets 80,000 likes. I think we can all agree that these also look disgusting. But surprisingly, these actually smell disgusting. But I'm willing to taste them. For science. At least the ants like them. So it can be that bad. There is just one last thing I want to show you before I start setting up the terrarium. Because this thing is broken. Fixed it. The left one is a thermometer and the right one a hydro, hydro, a moist meter. You will see me struggle installing these other stuff later in the video. So now it's time to start setting up the terrarium. This tube is going to be used to connect the three parts. I don't know why I'm pointing at them. You can all see them. This is stupid. The species of ants we have doesn't really like vibration. That is why we have some cushions to put under the nests and under the arena. The ants are ready to get into the terrarium. Even the queen is moving a bit now. She might be a queen, but she's not going to win any beauty contest. This is another Messor species. These are seed collecting ants from the dry regions of Kenya. And they are not very common in ant keeping. Now, the most important thing you need when you start ant keeping are ants. The second is an escape roof terrarium. Don't worry, this isn't hard to install. I'm just clumsy. This part is used to connect the arena with the nest. Of course, we need the lid. And yes, there is a hole in it, but we will solve that later. First, we need to install these meters. And there is only one chance of this, because once they are stuck, they are never coming off. So I'm nervous. Great success. To make the lid and proof, we have this. Ameisen Ausbruchsschutzol. I think it means stay the F in the terrarium oil. This is a barrier that the ants can't cross. But there is an extra lid to go on top of this to be extra sure. This way you can open the terrarium. Poke some ants I guess. And close the terrarium again, all without the ants escaping. Closing off the ventilation holes. And now we can start the real business. The most efficient way to add the substrate is of course this tiny shovel. At least uh, if you can open the substrate. I'm not proud to say, but this took me 5 minutes. Ah yes. Efficiency. Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually trying to get sponsored by the tiny shovel company. Now I just need a way to spread the sand a bit. Yes, that's it. I added too much sand here. You will see why later in this video. I'm spraying the sand here, so the ants don't get dust lung. I guess we're good. No seriously, it's actually important for the health of the ants that the substrate is a bit wet. There is this fake desert background, but I'm not using it, because I like to keep things natural. Ah yes, nature. 
I'm adding this stick because I hope it helps the ants find the entrance to the nest faster. Since they live in an arid area. Pro tip, use gloves. Again, use gloves. This is the water container. I'm covering it a bit, so less of the plastic is visible. There are also some food containers, but I'm not using them. For the seeds, I'm using the stone as kind of a table. And I'm adding these later when the ants are in. You get an extra one of these for free by the way if you order a set in December. Who doesn't want cricket jam under a Christmas tree? One last thing to do before we add the ants. Close off this hole and then connect everything with tubes. Alright, and water the nest area a bit. The ants need a higher humidity. I placed some books under the arena, so the ants don't have to climb. And yes, I own books. I'm sophisticated. I'm cutting the tube to the right size. Pro tip, use a bigger scissor. At this point I thought, that went easy. But of course, I should not have thought that. Blue bub guys. This is the escape oil and it can be used to make it easier to connect the tube. Everything is set up, so now it's finally time to put in the ants. I hope so much, that is not what she said. Here we go. Watch till the end if you want to see them move into the nest areas. I'm also covering the nest areas with this red foil that blocks the light a bit. Hopefully that stimulates the ants to start digging here. But of course first, they need to leave the tube. And to motivate them, I'm giving them this yummy blanched cricket. There's one ant that comes take a look, but she's not sure yet. Nah, she got work to do. The seeds need to be processed in some kind of bread. That is what makes these ants special. They store these seeds, so they have a food reserve. But this one is doing another job. She is moving out the waste. And this is a dead worker. At this point I realized that the ants are not only smarter than me, but also cleaner than me. And then, finally, the first ant set food outside. A disgusting cricket. Hmm, interesting. More ants followed soon. And they start uh, licking the cricket. It doesn't look like they're really biting it. Wait. I guess they are really licking it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that if this video gets 80,000 likes. While these ones are enjoying a nice meal, there are other ants that are taking out the trash even further. The entrance of the nest area, of course. Here is another one. That is not the right spot, buddy. I was observing the ants and I noticed this one started digging in the corner. And that is why I added too much sand. You have a chance that the ants will start building a nest inside of the arena. But keep watching, the ants will still surprise you later. While I was filming this, someone very important showed up. The queen decided to take a stroll out of the tube. I guess she's looking if the others were working hard enough. But queens don't usually like it outside, so she gets back into the nest. I was observing the ants all day already, so I went to sleep. And the next day I woke up to a surprise. The queen was gone and I saw some ants digging here near the entrance of the nest and also the one in the corner found some help. I have no clue where the queen is, she is in one of the two areas where the ants are digging. So we better follow a worker underground. No queen to be seen here. But back above ground, I noticed a worker grabbing this. I'm assuming that this is a piece of the ant bread. Follow the food I guess. She is going in the hole in the back. Unfortunately, 
I have no angle of filming this, but to be sure, I removed the stone on top, so there's less weight on the tunnels they're digging. Here you can see a worker process one of the seeds. These are the first step of making the end bread. Now, do you want to see something very sad? I don't know why I'm asking you this, because you can't answer, but I'm warning you, this is sad. This is a crippled worker. I saw it fall from the top of the arena, and I guess it fell on a stone or something, because she can't use her back legs anymore. I did not know ants took fall damage. A while later, something weird was going on. The ants were bringing back the ant bread. And a few hours later, another surprise appeared. Yes, she's back. But that means there's another chance of them getting in the real nest area. So I put some seats in the entrance. And it worked. One worker was exploring the nest areas. I didn't want to remove the foil. Because I was afraid I was gonna scare her. Now she's going back to report to the colony. And hopefully they follow soon. In the meanwhile, I'm giving them some sugar water. These ants usually get their sugar from the seeds they process but I wanted to give them some of this anyway. They don't seem to be interested in sugar water. Exploring this new area is more exciting, and more and more ants are doing so. The ants ran back and forth for a few hours, even I got tired of watching them. But they had to be absolutely sure the nest was safe before they started moving in this precious cargo, like these eggs here. Uh, ma'am, those are not eggs. I don't know what this one is doing, but it's carrying a worker inside the nest. But I think it recognized its mistake, and she carried it all the way back to the tube. Of course, she was very careful while carrying this worker. And she banged its head against everything she passed. And that might explain why it had to be carried. I'm not sure, but I think this is a new worker. As you can see, she has a lighter colored head than the rest of the ants. And also, she's still pretty clumsy. The ants kept running back and forth, moving stuff. So I was pretty sure a colony move was happening soon. And of course, like always, I was right. Yeah, that was a lie. But for once, I was actually right. The queen moved into this popcorn nest. But she seemed very restless and separated from the workers. That is, because this nest is still a bit too big for this small colony. The move happened a bit too soon. That is why I decided to cover the test tube. This way the ants have the choice of staying in there until the colony is a bit bigger. And in the meanwhile, some workers have already started building a nest here. This is actually the right spot, because the dry popcorn nest is designed to store the seeds. And this nest here is a bit humid, and that is what the ants need. So they will probably keep digging here until the colony is big enough to move in. And the first ones to see this move will be these patrons. Thank you to everyone that watched, and thank you to all patrons, and thanks again to Anstor for this set. Now please go watch this video, it will help me a lot.